Evening, Jane. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Nerky! And welcome back to what is probably the last stream we'll be doing of Dishonored. Because I'm pretty sure after where we left off with... Uh, <clears throat> with Doubt last time, there is only one mission left. So yeah, let's get back here. Okay, last time we ended mid-mission, but we should be close to the end of this mission, so... Yeah, in two hours I think we'll be able to finish this off. And the last mission, if I remember correctly. Which, well, I've already commented enough about how my memory isn't the most reliable. Picked up anything good. Yeah, he right. forgot which was left or right between the shoes. Because I've got a horror in the sight. Just because he can do so crushing things, bones doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. Oh, uh, you want to ask? Don't make me take that away from you. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> but yeah, last time we snuck into what was what was a fancy district. With the dead eel gang here fighting with the Hatter gang. And yeah, now we're moving out to well go rob the Hatters. Because we got the we got the we got the boat of the dead eel's leader back, but they stole the freaking <laughs> they stole the freaking key to the engine. So yeah, we'll have to go get that back. How we'll still see. Okay. No time to blow a cloud. We got somebody about it. Uh, yeah, we're... This basically means that every, all the time that we spent trying to get in here was basically wasted. Hello. Look out for the trained rats. One of the dead eels apparently trained some white rats to come to this side of the canal and fetch shiny objects back to him. So far, they've gotten a few coins and a couple of bullets back over into eel territory. Frank saw one carrying a coin and tried to shoot it, but his marksmanship is lacking. <laughs> Beware, because I mean, crush the little things if you get the chance. If one swipes one of the tools or keys or something like that, it'll be a laughing stock. Baldwin. Okay. I'm not sure we've seen any ra yeah, white rats somewhere. But if we do, well, we'll know where we might find some loot. Because rats are pretty clever things. Okay. Yeah, but can also be quite brutal if this blood not. Yeah. Well, how peril rats should still. Oh, hello there. Did you? I don't think that would count as white. No, that's more gray because I'm I'm pretty sure they can't steal the frick, a whole freaking whale tank. Yeah, and I would just mistook them for being undead rats for some reason. Uh, let's see, we don't have possession. I get the feeling we might be able to crawl through there. Okay, that's a very clever rat. <laughs> see, how many do we have at the moment? Actually, we don't get possession with this, so yeah. Let's upgrade this. There we go, that'll help Quiet with sneaking around a lot. Almost like it used to be. Okay, still going to be a pest to get around this thing. So let's do a quick little save here. Because we've died to this thing plenty of times. <laughs> Actually, I think I know how we can get past it. Yeah. There we go. And that shows just how powerful stop time can be once it's upgraded. <laughs> now let's get in here fine and frickingly. What's the password? Whalebone. Come in, Hatter. 
<laughs> yeah, sometimes a, a password is smarter than actually using a key. And the heck are they up to with that? Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Okay, yeah, making <laughs> making death shrouds in a time of plague would be a pretty smart move. Corvo Atana with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. Keep your hat on. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate, it don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well, since you're such a genius, it ought to be real easy to see who it was. So go check it out. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing. Okay. What the heck were they talking about? Us? They they know that somebody uh, somebody entered, but nobody passed through, so they're questioning who the hell got in here. Yeah, but they also said something about Cole and the Empress walking in without clothes. He, he was bullshitting him. Yeah, all right. I, I was wondering, but it was that bullshit or what they referred to, or had they been peeking? He, he was just completely bullshitting him. No. It's, oh. I, I had a feeling he'd turn around just as I tried to enter. Good day, sir. I... You look like garbage. Can't hold your drink. Where are you? Wrong power. I know there we go. Here. Okay, just drop him off here. Someone's about to get shit. Okay, yeah, he got a look at us through the window, but he didn't get alerted, so that's a plus. Where'd you run okay, on? that's a... We still have never tried if carrying got someone... It. Actually, we tried it with an, an arc pylon, didn't we? And we still got zapped. Yeah, might, might work through the, those things, but not with arc pylon. <laughs> yeah, so better not <laughs> mess with it one way or the other. And with the gatekeeper taken out, we might have given the eels a bit of an advantage as well with this. And someone's a bit stuck in place. No, just drop you off in a shady corner here. And then we move on. Okay. I think these are just the controls. Yeah. We've never used one of these, so... Let's use them at least once. Yeah, light, wall of light will not harm enemies instead of you. Wait. Yeah, it might... It might cause kill... It might kill someone, but I think we're far enough in on low enough chaos that uh, one or two deaths can be afforded. Please, people, remember what he has said. And remember it too later, possibly, to see how far correct he is. Or how wrong he is. I feel like this will bite him back. Uh, I think at this point, the only way we can really screw ourselves... Oh, we still have the next mission as well. But uh, it'll take a bit of work to get back into high chaos, I think. If we... If we kill off both targets, and if that is, if chaos is even of an effect in this, because I read that somewhere, I I think I saw somewhere on the wiki that this DLC might not make use of it at all, or at least have no real hard consequences in the ending. But I might be completely wrong about that. That or they wrote something false for sometimes. Broad information is written on wiki. True. Like, in Guild Wars, in Wikipedia, they said the Pact never did anything against uh, Scarlet Briar, for example. 
which is full bullshit. Says I play almost through the entire thing except the mist part of the Scarlet Bride story, and the pack were heavily involved. Yeah. Yep. That strong arms charm just makes it so much easier to go around choking them all out, huh? Yep. This means you have learned from the best. Me. Yes. The heck is that sound? <clears throat> it is a rune here. No, no, no. Oh, I see. There's a Wait, bunch hold of on. Here. I said something here in real life. Okay, uh, where did... There they are. Come on, Dowd, loot it. Can't carry anymore. But we can still loot the rest. I'm back. Not I have bad. to check my fire alarm. Okay. And it's not that not that one making the sound for... Well, there's no batteries in it. Warning, don't lose your head. Uh, outlying districts are cautioned against a stalker in the night. The unknown assailant has beheaded a score of loyal citizens. Okay, I know we've been... I know we have passed a few kills as Dowd and uh, Corvo, but uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't intentionally behead anyone. I think you accidentally did that. Yeah. But yeah, you, I mean, you actually... you did accidentally behead someone. Yeah, but not enough to get warned about like that. Ask me, but Dowd. Didn't think I'd ever see you again. After you helped us escape the slaughterhouse, I got a job here running the looms. They got us working around the clock, making shrouds for all of the plague victims. Kind of makes me sick. But they have to come from somewhere, I guess. How do I get into the engine room? It's down in the basement. But you can't get in without the combination. And where would I find that? Nurse Trimble. He takes care of the geezer. But I'd bet my broom handle that's only half the story. See, the geezer's supposed to be the boss, but Tremble never lets anyone near him. Claims it's for his health. I'm sure the geezer knows the combination too, except Fat Chance talking to him alone. Only time Nurse Trimble leaves is to check the lab equipment he's got upstairs. Thanks for the help. Okay. And pausing for a second because I realized I made a mistake with this. Uh, oh. Let's see. Yeah, when I hide myself, when I hide the camera away, it still has the the gray block of NV of the Nvidia broadcast behind um, it. So that should be that should be restored now. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, for a bit there was so just a, a bl no thanks. For the moment, there was just a, a, a gray rectangle in the corner of the stream. Uh, uh, I think... Yeah, we've seen that one before. Hold on, hold on. Let's take a look at the fetus again. I noticed something about the name. How did it pass Bull rat. Yeah. I don't think male rats are called bulls. Might be completely wrong there. Beanie might probably correct me on that. But that to my knowledge, they are not. So we have a they have a species of a giant rat. Well, all of the rats in this place seem to be giant. Yeah, speaking yeah, of, uh, now that rats have come up again, not that they wouldn't come up sooner or later with this, apparently one of our cats has worked their way up the the kill, the kill tree a bit because well, a few days ago, I found a freaking dead rat on uh, in front of the door. Normally, they're just killing mice, but one of them got a freaking rat. In front of your sleeping door or the house door? Yeah, uh, house door on, on the doormat. Uh, oh, right. no, it, it was a. It w seemed to be a clean kill. Just yeah, they didn't. They didn't eat it or anything. They just dumped it on the on the doormat and left it there. Yeah, but I think I heard somewhere it's supposed to be a sign of. Uh, 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 really? 
more of the, they're supposed to use give it the rat and stuff to you as a gift. Yeah, I've heard two uh, two tales on that. One that they are giving it as a gift. Uh, some cats seem to do that, but others uh, others people think that they do that because they are worried about you not eating or something. Then again, they are, our cats are constantly begging at the, the dinner table, so they know we get plenty of food. <laughs> yeah, the, the, in a way, those two things almost feel connected, for you can't give someone a gift, even if you were... You know, it, like, if, I could give you, you a pizza if I feel like you're not eating properly or something. Yeah. You're eating properly, I hope. Yep. Good. Uh, Greek today. Let's see. It looks like Skeevs ain't coming back from his patrol. It's been six days now. Don't get me wrong, I ain't grieving because Skeevs and, Skeev and me didn't see eye to eye on many things, but it makes me sad because he swore he was bringing back his tremendous stash of coins he knew about up in the dried out uh, waterway. I figured I'd part him from all those coins in a few card games, but it ain't to be. Who knows, if that water ever comes on again, it may just flush on him on out, but I doubt it. When you get off duty tonight, we need to drink a toast to old steeds. Okay. So at least some honor among thieves. <clears throat> yep. That reminds me, I should check downstairs for what games uh, I have stored down there. Because I do, uh -huh. well, I, we as a family do have a PlayStation 3. Uh -huh. We mostly got it for the Blu-ray player, and hello there. But we did get a few games of that that I forgot to add to the uh, collections uh, sheet. Yeah. And hmm. Again, I, I keep forgetting... Most of the games I play use E for interaction. So whenever I go back to a first-person game like this, I forget that E is usually lean. Yeah, I'm not used to E being lean, and I'm used to games using E or F as the interaction. Mm. I don't think I've even seen a... Yeah, I've never played a game where I can lean over. Yeah, not too many games actually do it. A lot less than, in my opinion, should do it. Yeah, some games it makes sense for you to lean for, like, yeah, stealth game. It feels like that you should be able to lean. Okay, this guy's alone. I say that and I almost get spotted and only no, don't get spotted because this guy coughed. Okay, well, thank you for having a smoker's lung, I guess. Not that that's a good thing in general, because, yeah, you're just... Ooh, you'll just be coughing up a storm all day. Yeah! Okay, is there another way up here, maybe? Can I slip past these guys? That one is out of the picture. And that just looks like a worker. And yeah, I kind of missed that he had that thing shielding him from us. Okay. Let's just try and sneak past. You are there. We're heading up towards that. We're down towards... I should be able to just blink past you. Actually, easy. There Wait. we go. This stomp time is so freaking useful. Wait, what that Honestly. mean? Wait, hold on. If you do stop time and do that to him, would that mean you break, automatically break his neck? Uh, not really. I, I'm pretty much. I think that the spell it basically works like whatever you are touching isn't being affected, because you can still fire a gun whilst time is stopped. Bullet won't actually move, but you can shoot. So once you grab someone, I presume it they get pulled into that little uh, exception field. 
Okay. And that was a recipe for explosive bolts, it seems. Recipe? Lamp. Can you eat it? Now the blueprint here. It, I saw something pop up like a explosive bolt now available. Okay, you mean the blueprint? Okay. Uh, actually, I find it confusing when games say use the term recipe, but they obviously mean blueprint. Yeah, when they when they say recipe, they mean it like a crafting recipe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Blueprints are blueprints would check, yeah, technically be the more accurate description. Yeah, I mean, I, I started to notice that, that it kind of annoys me, for it can be very confusing. Like, I'm pretty sure we don't eat... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we normally don't eat explosives. So I do know there are some, there are some things in dynamite that have been used for medicine. Uh, yeah, I believe so. And we can go so, uh, in, in very very small amount obviously probably not the explosive part like i don't think you can take the get a lot of, a lot yeah, of the pills and use them as a explosives i don't think you can do that wait oh come on there's a second entrance <laughs> Come on, get back. And yeah, I thought we could stand on the, that pipe up there, but apparently not. Oh well. We can easily enough get back up there, and we might as well take this guy out just to be safe. What? What's that? Poster saying on the house. Let's see. Let's get a better angle so I'm not craning my neck. Let's see. Mortimer hats, quality uh, garments for any purpose. We outfit Dunwall's finest officers, we can outfit you. Mortimer M um, hats, proprietor. So ju just the <laughs> hat as a last name is for some reason really funny to me. Yeah. Do it's a very horrible last name in Swedish sense. Well, that's how we spell hate. Okay. And we want to spell with the Swedish spell for hat is with two T's. What the fuck? So yeah, you, if you read yeah. Swedish, remember, one T is hate, two T is hat. That guy just goes that way. This guy goes the other way around, but we have the workers to dodge. For some reason, I got turned around. I, I, did I land on this thing and somehow got spun? I would not be surprised. Okay, you are coming with me. Oh, I see what you're going to do. I'm not going to port him through the mill. What? No, no, no. I was thinking about you going like a cheetah. You hide your prey up high. <laughs> if I drop him, he's... I'm pretty sure if I dropped him down up there, he'd fall down and break his neck. Nope. Uh, I, I probably could have just put him down instead of tossing him in like that. <laughs> Let's have a look. <sighs> Wakefield's miscalculated badly. I predicted this would happen, of course. A man like Wakefield knows which end of a knife is for stabbing, but not much else. What's that? Oh, stop complaining, of man. I'm giving you a legacy. I can't end the dark vision at the moment. Before I arrived, I'll tell you. A shadow of their former selves. The butt of numerous jokes, in fact. Why did the Hatter piss in his own hat? What did the Hatter do with his last bullet? And so on. The answers aren't worth repeating. Leadership. 
That's what was missing. But with the embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Bottle Street Boys, of all things. There now. You mustn't become agitated. You'll inflame your arteries, which will only cause you unneeded agony. I can ease the pain, but only if you promise to behave yourself. No? Ah, that reminds me. I must see Jerome about getting more ox rush. I'm fresh out. Okay, Jackass is basically running the place through well, the, the actual leader. I told her to keep the children inside. The real leader as a proxy. So either we deal with him, what will I do now? or we see if we can get rid of him. Dies. No. Okay, this is his lab. Oh, hello there. The real nurse. Uh, might be, but just because someone is a nurse doesn't mean they can't be uh, manipulative bastards. What's the idea of uh, this lab here? Okay, that's a little thing. We, we don't know the recipe for uh, the healing tonic or the other tonic, or the, the help, mana tonic, so we can't actually make it ourselves. Huh. Timer calibration. The calibration of my experiment timer is slightly off. This should be fixed immediately. I'd like to check on my experiments immediately after the bell chimes. I have to. I have this all perfectly timed from the bell ring to the walk to my lab. This should be a top priority after your return from restoring the water flow in the sewers. Trimble. Okay, so we can lure him up right. here with a bell. This makes me distrust him. And I spoke over doubt saying something there. Let's see. The effect of whale oil on the gastric humors volume one. One benefit of this plague is the abundance of unclaimed bodies readily available to, uh, to the inquisitive medical mind. I've been able to stimulate gastric function in addition to other organ activities through infusions of whale oil and the application of electrical impulses. I believe that such treatment could be applied to the living and that it might prolong life indefinitely. I very much doubt that. When my process is applied to the stomach and intestinal systems, digestion does in fact still occur, though the end product might, you know, must be evacuated from the stomach through tubing and processed by my machinery before being re you know, circulated to the appropriate organs. You. This was a tricky solution to uh, come across as my first inclination was to break the food down myself and bypass the natural processes altogether. My subject has indicated that he no longer has a sense of taste, but that it might be a mercy given what I'm feeding uh, him these days. Uh, but is that what he's doing to the actor leader? Let's hope not, though it would be his most readily available test subject. And where is this bell? And so we have this here, but there's no... There's nothing in here. Excuse me, he's not a nurse, but a mad doctor. Volume 2. Uh, my primary patient is no longer mobile. A loss of bone density coupled with the amount of organ maintenance that I have to perform on a daily basis means that he will be bound to a chair or bed for the foreseeable future. While this greatly agitated the subject at first, he quickly grew too fatigued to offer further protest. I cleared a room close to my lab, but with access to the mill so he could continue to give orders. Update. After three weeks of regression, the yellowish shores have reappeared around implantation site C. I was holding out hope for full recovery at the highest as the highest concentration of whale oil was pumped into this site in particular. So, okay, I'm pretty sure that the stuff you use to fuel basically everything should not be injected into someone, no matter where. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where's this freaking bell? Does it appear like this? There's also, there's also an ingot behind there, but we need an audiograph to keep it, in, to get it going. Okay, 
Am I just being blind because I don't see a bell? Yeah, we'll, wa we'll probably want to deal with the leader himself and not uh, this jackass. Eh, hello. He notes. And might as well loot some, <laughs> some coin. Antitoxin. The antitoxin formula needs the following. Oxrush flower, by more from Jerome in Draper's ward. Uh, bull rat fetus, one in dry storage room. We saw that. Metallic salt, some on the manufacturing floor. I th think we have... Let's have a look. Do we have any notes on what we have? There we have our inventory. Let's see. Uh... Key ring, no gadgets, no ammo. I th <clears throat> I thought we'd found some of that ox rush flower, but apparently not. Or if it did, if we did, it doesn't show up in there. And we'd have to fight well, for the for the uh, for the fetus in a jar. We'd have to get back through here. And okay, smart guy. He has this place locked up with the same key as well. Uh, hmm. If I alert the workers, there's a chance they might come running up here and alert this guy to my presence. Which could complicate matters. But still, let's just take him out. Dump him up here. And there. Let's... Let's go get ourselves a jar. That was one of the workers. Easy enough to get here. Does this show up in our inventory now? Wrong button. Let's see. Inventory. No, it does not show up here. So, we could already have that flower. And it said something about metallic salts, or something like that, being on the work floor. It's not that. Somewhere in thing up there, maybe. We've cleared this place out, so it'll be safe to look around for a bit. But we should probably move on at a reasonable pace. Uh, metallic salt, some on the manufacturing floor. Yeah. We'll probably have to scare the workers for that. Or we could just knock them out as well. There was a normal stuff. Herbs. Elixir. Probably in there then, maybe. For now, though. You deserve a nap. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You little dumb man. She has good eyes on her. Some of the guards didn't see us at that distance. But she's just a worker, I think. Oh, she's unarmed. Yeah, just going to sneak in here. Give a hug. There we go. Metallic salts. That's a lot. Oh, now, now I see. Uh, I used to be a little bit lazy stride. That thing up there isn't for making the health bros. It's for making up antitoxin. Let's see. History of lazy stride. Excerpt from a listing of known underworld elements. Little is known about Li Elizabeth Stride's origins, except that she hailed from Morley, rumored to be the daughter of a seamstress and a traveling clo uh, cloth merchant. Uh, Stride was forced to flee Morley in her early days after strangling an abusive schoolmaster, smuggled herself out of the city disguised as a boy, and became a powder monkey on a navy ship. The ruse worked for a time, allowing her to see wonders and horrors that women in her society had always been denied. 
Her high spirit, charisma and fierceness propelled her to the top of the pecking order in the small shipbound community of children and they grew loyal to her. <clears throat> Pardon? Inevitably, her deception was discovered by the ship's surgeon when she was injured during a storm. Before the doctor could report her, she routed her pouty monkeys to toss the man overboard. A bloody fight ensued, but their brief mutiny was crushed and many of her followers were put down. In the chaos, Lizzie and a handful of loyal boys managed to abandon the ship in a skiff. Afterward, they found employment for a few seasons with a cartographer working along the coasts of the Mendesian continent to map estuaries. I have no idea how to say that word. <laughs> there, the crew of children grew into experienced and savage fighters. With the conclusion of the mapping expedition, the crew sailed back to Crystal. Once in Dunwall, Lizzie and her hardened friends carved a uh, space for themselves in the, uh, in the street culture of the city. The nautical experience had them at home on the Runhaven River, a territory previously unclaimed by any gang. They recruited former sailors, pirates, and defectors from other gangs. She took an oath. She took an unlikely lover, a naval aristocrat that arranged her for her to carry merchant marine pre merchant bringing papers, granting them le 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 yeah, legitimacy in the eyes, uh, eyes of the government and allowing her to sail through territory normally restricted to merchants. Some of those same powder monkeys from the early years still follow her, helping pilot their cargo boat, uh, the Undine, up and down the Ren Haven on smuggling missions. As the leader of the Dead Eagles, uh, Lizzie has an almost mystic reputation for ferocity. She piles her teeth to points and is even rumored to have webbed toes. Her enemies fear her unpredictable violence as much as they despise her. Okay. So she isn't just some normal thug you'd find everywhere. And she's been at this uh, since little childhood. Yeah, and we train it in uh, what so far I understand is a very dangerous continent. Yeah. Do we have everything we need with this? Yes, we do. Okay. Anytime we show. Oh. This is the antitoxin for the gas that would be released. But that would also kill everyone in the area. So that would be a very, very high chaos action. I was more thinking that would... I was, I was more thinking that it would be something for the old geezer to be given or something. Yeah, I thought as well. Yeah, that, that's basically to ensure you can safely escape from here. Oh, here's the bell. Or, no, what the hell is that? But you couldn't interact with it, it's, it's seemed. Yeah, it was to pick up the bottle behind it. Oh. Hmm. And where is that freaking bell? Oh. So that was a bell. I saw it earlier, but I mistook it for some strange telephone from a distance yeah. but yeah up close it was yeah painfully obvious a very strange clock hello there mr hats down quick come close before that son of a bitch tremble gets back Look at the pickle I'm in. Words out about your deal with Lizzie. I know why you're here. You want that engine coil? It's yours. You just have to do one thing, assassin. Kill me. This contraption, Trimble's machine, get it off me. Let me die. I'll give you what you want. All I have to do is pull that oil tank. No, not yet. Trimble's machine keeps me alive. But he's rigged it so that gas will flood the mill if I die. <laughs> Insurance. Search Trimble's quarters. Upstairs, he has antitoxin he drinks every day, just in case I croak. You'll have to make some to survive the gas. 
I've already taken the antitoxin. Good. You're ready then. Okay, so he's pushing us towards the high chaos action. Missing mechanic. I sent our head mechanic into the sewers to try and get the water flowing in the canals again, but he hasn't been seen from sin. Her, heard from since. We lost other men trying to investigate what happened to him. This guy never made it back. Wonder if he's still down there. Okay. I guess we should take the coin and not kill him, since yeah, yeah many of the workers do not deserve that. Yeah, and oop. real oil tank replacement. Warning, when replacing the oil tank that powers the pulmonary machine, uh, you will have precious little time uh, to do so. If you fail to be diligent and Mr. Hat perishes, you will release a ga toxic gas that will end your life and that of your fellow headers. Have a care. You think they put in a secondary then? So that's, you, that, that way you can just put one in the secondary and pull the other one out and just swap them up there around every time after refilling. Hmm. Okay, good. For him, it would be the right thing to do, but it would kill basically everyone here. And we are going for, we are trying for low chaos, even if it might not have an effect this time. So let's do a save. Not really yeah, for a return to, but just to be sure. For it shows up chaos in the listing anyway, so I don't trust it. Maybe for now, let's try pickpocketing the guy. I very much doubt that he has the code on him or something, but it might be worth a try. Would it be possible to knock him out then uh, take it, or would you still count as chaos? Sewer so access key, not what we need. Smart of him to break this up. <laughs> Unless that's where they keep it? Now we do still need to find the freaking engine. Hmm. Actually, what is that bottle? Just an empty bottle. Okay, let's let's have a chat with this guy. Dowd. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Strive's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. It's a great to me. Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Easier here says you're in luck. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow and not one of them came back. But what stopped them won't be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. The key... The key's gone missing. So you'll have to find your own way in, I'm afraid. But it's a pleasure to do business, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves. The missing, hey? The end of the bargain, Dowd. No. No. Okay, that, that might be because we just pickpocketed it off of him. Which shows that the writers and developers did keep a lot in mind with this. But, yeah, yeah I don't think we'll have to fear the hat as much, since all of them are knocked out. That, and they are neutral as well. Yeah. So, yeah, this is most likely the low chaos option. Because, well, it doesn't kill everyone in the freaking place. And, yeah, that, that must be the engine with the, well, the coil in it, and almost. But we already deactivated these things, so we can just set these off. No, oh, apparently they're also tied to an alarm, so how are we... Or not. Okay, I didn't see an alarm anywhere, or was it just a siren from the machinery itself? 
Okay, either way, back down here. Ah, so it's not a secondary entrance. It's just a, a different one. Or a different area. And let's have a look. Yep, yeah, of course. These stupid things again. Okay, come on, get out of I'm your show. Actually, I want to do people eat these things. Uh, probably. It's probably far from the the, the most disgusting uh, archer whale statue. A hundred coin from that. It, it's probably not the uh, most disgusting delicacy in this place. Seeing how it's basically everything seems to want to kill just about everything else. Oh dear. And also archer whale? What? What? Is it? I heard of archer fish? Wait. Does that mean the whale shoots water at people? Maybe. Yeah, you were to say something accidentally interrupted to you. Yeah, it was more of the rats interrupting me. No. And yeah, I guess we know what happened to the people who were sent down here. Was it really rats? Away from that. If it was rats, then would not there be less remains? No, well, that that corpse was completely chewed up. A ventilation maintenance key. Hmm. Yeah, hold on a sec. Back uh, a package that I ordered on uh, speed delivery got well, delivered speedily. Oh, congrats! Uh, yeah, just something for uh, swimming tomorrow. Uh, a water, oh, a waterproof Bluetooth hat, uh, not headset, uh, headphones. Or, what? More like earbuds. I'll sh I'll show you later. Okay, I I'm also surprised. The waterproof ones. Also, yesterday with the VR test, I said I would show whatever I bumped into uh, with my hands the two times. And yeah, it's this. It's a plush boo from Mario. <laughs> I have that hanging from my lamp up there. Because why not? <laughs> I think you just knocked it over in self defense. Yeah, it was still up there afterwards. Otherwise, it would have fallen through the... <laughs> it probably would have been... Actually, no, it wouldn't have been seen at that angle because it's over here. Is there called self-defense since they usually... Wait, don't do usually want to attack you from behind? Yeah. Or when you can't see them? Someone out here? And you can't see them if you were in a... Wee, in a in, uh, yeah, you can't see them if you're wearing a headset. Yeah. Yes, for you hit it in self-defense. And it's my logic. My little boy. He's not well, and I fell down here. I hurt my leg. But this doesn't spell ambush in capital letters. You're not going to die, you're just going to sleep. Yeah, she was dressed way too fancily. And yeah, here we have two in similar dress, just waiting in ambush. Nice try, lady. Wait, That's uh, down they? into bleeding. Oh, two more. Yeah, you were going to say? Like, who are these people? But they're not hatters. Well, it did speak, there was word of uh, Delilah's coven earlier. Oh, strange wood. Yeah, strange women oh. that were blinking in and out everywhere. So yeah, these are the witches. Well, the Brigmore witches, as the DLC is named. Title drop. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rory and a few others went up ahead to the water control station to see why the water flow stopped, but they haven't returned. There have been reports of strange noises and a few of our new workers fled for the exit. If someone doesn't come to relieve me soon, I'm leaving this place. I'm running this so you can have uh, on record that I didn't just abandon my station without just cause. Rest in P. Okay. Yeah, that... Wait. Okay, for a moment I thought her leg was made out of wood, but no, that's just a strange texture. So, yeah, now we're dealing with witches. And apparently we were far done, far from done with this level as I thought. Oh dear. You'll have the time you need. And the portrait of the girl, is it? Excuse me, my lady. You're right. I should not have asked. Okay, so that... And poof. So she uses these statues to communicate with her coven, I'm guessing. Which could probably be make it a good idea to not go talk with it whilst they are still part of her coven conscience. Would that mean entering the room be stupid? As you just did? Well, uh, the statue didn't react to us, so it shouldn't have noticed us because, well, it doesn't really have two functional eyes. I mean, marble would probably not make for the best of a uh, light reflection for the eyes to work. Yeah, don't underestimate magic, boy. Let's, let's see. Okay. You two are going to keep sitting there? Okay. Of course, it's still a comfy chair. Why would that move? There we go. Yep, yeah, break more witch. Okay, break I, I more thought we were witch. almost done with this level, but yeah, far from it, it seems. Yeah, dude, we did waste a lot of time by being stuck on some places. Yeah. So maybe there will be still be a, another stream in this game. Let's see, that is Whirlwind. It's faster swings. Whale oil. Okay. Oh, this will happen today. Hmm? I, I woke up with a little snow today, so I'm a bit happy. A bit of light in the darkness. It's all said and done. Why? Don't be dense. She's afraid of us. When the change comes, she'll only want the weaker sisters nearby. That makes no sense. Our power flows from Delilah. Without her, we'd be reduced to dancing under the moon in parlor tricks. You must be wrong. Why else would she put us here, right in his path? I wish he'd hurry up and come already. And that's one gone. Nope. That sounded close by. I think she might have one of her stronger ones out to make sure he doesn't come to her. Okay. One is up there. Where's the other? Or did they leave as well? Yeah. Um, also, I, I accidentally interrupted you again, didn't I? Uh, no, just, just musing. But if she uh, if she is the source of their power, then it would mean that she is weakening herself by empowering them. Which would also probably mean that if they are dead, she would be more powerful, because well, it would be a sub yeah, you know, it would be less of a sub yeah subtraction of her own power. I just can't hmm. seem to English today, huh? <laughs> we all have those days. You know, it is an interesting theory. A witch theory. Uh, let me pick you up before you <laughs> end up uh, hitting your head on the floor there. Let's see. 
Moved wrench. Someone took the wrench to the water flow valve control. Please have someone find it and return it to the vendor. I'm sorry, it's still sure. Yeah, we need something for that. And I think we... It was a... Oh, he has weepers here. Uh, don't tell me that whatever is needed is... Of course it is. Uh, it's just three of them. We can just go in and out. Why is there... Why is there expensive poor in the Britain sewers of all places? It has been dropped by accident. Now, but why bring it in here in the first place? And she's in a very compromising position. Oh dear. That's... Okay. Let's put that in, restore the water flow, get the code and get out. They... Ah, smart. Okay. I didn't notice that earlier. Let's see. We have seven of these. So... We could probably just do this. And there we go. It doesn't fully regenerate the power that we lose there, but still. Actually, can we just shoot it? Yeah, we can. Okay. That's like the second time in this entire game that I've <laughs> used the slide move. And just like a freaking magpie, I need to collect every coin I find. Where's the tempted for an idea if I have a witcher in... Witcher? Visit Holland. Just throw a bunch of coins all over the place. More of a throw a bunch of coins or praise around you. I thought I, I thought every Dutchman would shake coin that being thrown. Yeah, people would uh, pick up coins if they were find were to find any near nearby, but they wouldn't actively go chasing after them. Yeah. Like, if you just found a penny, a coin on the ground, fine. That's one thing. Okay. Draft a textile mill. And... Oop. Come on, get up. Bowed. I don't think we want to end up through that. Come up, go low, you dumbass. Okay, we can skip around it. Can we climb this thing? There we go. Oh, hello. hello. Someone woke all of you idiots up. Don't mind me, just testing the water wheel. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, it does look like they woke everyone up because the one we hit up here is gone.
The code is... Two, three, eight. Okay, because there was a pause there, I'm assuming that uh, the code is randomized each time you play, where they, it's taken from a random selection. Yeah, so Otherwise, you could just get it from the front. Uh, we, you could just use an old code. Now that's kind of clever, but it means that, sure, you could use a walkthrough, but you can't use the walkthrough to see through the game uh, by just you know, in advance know with a number. Yeah. Sounded like an arc pylon turning on. Uh, I saw a leather on the outside. Metal wiring. If this gets me closer to Delilah's throat, so this be also it. goes to the. Let's take a quick look. And there were. It only sat there for a second, but it said that. Oh, we could have also gotten. Oh, we could not have gotten in through here. Well, not without the codes. Um. Yeah, let's just go back through here. For a moment there, in the loading screen, it said that uh, the rats don't attack weepers because they are already infected. Oh. Hmm. That makes sense. And yeah, I, I believe... I believe rats have a very good sense of smell in that they can smell disease on people. Or something, supposedly. So, yeah, it, it would make sense that they wouldn't eat uh, diseased flesh. Okay, I'm not going to risk that stupid thing again. Don't make me take that. No fighting. Wonder how long that will last. Okay. Yeah, th th those, that pilot is put in a really good position, but in a really bad one for us. Okay. And now when now we're in, let's finish up this mission. This thing is probably just a, a giant spark plug for this. New head. Miss. With the help. Okay, why the hell are you green? was a spell. Okay, nice attempt. But you can't beat someone who can literally bend time to their will. Please, do the honors down. Fire up the engine from the bridge. Get us in the way. Okay, I had not... <laughs> I probably should have expected them to ambush us because uh, Delilah specifically seems to be wanting to take uh, Dowd out. Maybe, maybe she got a similar warning from the outsider. Like, uh, mm. that he's been actively pitting these two against each other for some reason. Possible. Let's see, only one kill. Where might that have been? Either way, we got low chaos, that's what we want. Wanted. We missed two runes, we missed a few bone charms. We, mi we missed one of their sh his shrines. Okay, we, we missed a bit of dialogue from him then. I guess we killed someone last stream? Probably. Though I don't know when that might have happened. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think I think recall you accidentally killing someone. Yeah. Pardon, I had to burp again. Let's see. Break more mana. Really? This should be the last mission. And we'll see if we can finish it in an hour. 
And the, otherwise, we'll be at this uh, again next week. Uh, at, not next week, in two days. That's yeah. Lila's masterwork. <laughs> Delilah and her coven are planning something that threatens everyone across the Empire of the uh, Isles. Infiltrate the ruins of Brigmore Manor and stop Delilah. The Brigmores were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something, a ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. Okay, so the witches were there already. She just took lead of them. Hmm. I, I guess the outside also pits Doubt against her, so Doubt has a chance to redeem himself. And also mm -hmm. get rid of uh, something that the outsider does not deem good about the witch. Yep. Oh, this, this one's cheap. Turncoat, your agents have paid off one of the witches to meet with you and provide information. She'll be wearing a red jacket. Let's take that. And a hole in the fence for a stealthier approach. And might as well get this as well. Any upgrades of interest? Armor? Sleep dog capacity? Um, let's see. Fill up on these. Do we have enough for anything else? We could we could put on an extra bone charm. But we don't really have much need of that. Oh, we have plenty of these. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just use the rest on that. And there we go. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing, but I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. Okay, we know that she can communicate through those statues, so she can probably see through them as well. So best to avoid them. Yes, and more of these crustaceans over here. Or would they be? Would they be considered crustaceans? They'd be closer to oysters and such. So, oh gosh, I am not that good about these animals. Uh, would that count them as mollusk? Could be. Let's see. They are on to me. The urn will have to stay here, Reggie, until we can return by boat and claim it. The master's key, however, will go with me, and since you are nowhere to be seen, I have little choice but to scale the rocks by the waterfall and make my escape across, uh, escape across country. Leave me out to dry on this one, and I'll put a bullet in your skull. Aye. Okay. Waterfall rocks. Yeah, you were going to say? Uh, what's it to say? Ain't squids and octopus also mollusk? Hmm, yeah. Okay, now you... Um... I have actually no idea. I don't think there is a link between uh, mussels and uh, oysters and octopi, though. Yeah, the oysters and mussels and clams, those probably should be related, but octopi, likely not, so they are maybe not mollusks then? Could be. Maybe maybe clams and them have their own name and we just don't know it. <laughs> the very first stun miner we get our hands on. 
in the very last level of the uh, mission, or, yeah, of the DLC. Of course. Let's see. Doubt has left Draper's ward on Lizzie Stride's boat and could arrive within hours. Disable the grave switch. Isabel will lock the manor and wait for further instructions in the backyard. D. Grave switch. Okay. Oh. And now the witches are appearing. Get back here, you. Okay. It's one down, probably a bunch more to go. Because a coven is often not just a, a small study group. I hope everything is in order, sir. It's strange doing, sir. I killed a hound in the yard, and it got straight back up and went for me. I had to crush its skull to be sure. Okay, zombie dogs. Good note. <laughs> what the? Now, that's one of her statues. A lot smaller than the previous ones, I think. Yeah, though. I think I have an idea how they work. Uh, how then, you say? Well, it's a theory, but... I feel, it seems like they need to look like her for her to be able to communicate through them. Yeah, likely. I very much doubt that she managed to sculpt all of them simply by hand, because they look too accurate for that, and they are probably too numerous for that as well. And again, I don't know how block, how much time it takes to make a, a statue. And plus, yeah, it, if she's using witchcraft, she could just... Mother... She could just I speed it up a lot. The stone. I, think, I think some stone are easier to carve to sculpture than others. And then, of course, if it's, if it's just uh, stone carved and not just uh, cement or some other similar thing. I get she up could. from here somewhere. Yeah, she, she could just literally just have the, a mold for these things. So can I? Yes, I can. No, you can't. Okay, you can't hit me. But you can't survive the aftermath. The aftermath? Aftermath. <laughs> no real use to getting money now, but I will. I think I occasionally speak very badly when I have a bit of a dry mouth. I have been taking uh, sips from my water. Well, nice. might as well do a bit extra. That's probably the first time I hear you, you open the bottle. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Someone just blinked in nearby, I think. I do like how this uh, dark vision doesn't give you like perfect sight all over the place with uh, seeing enemies. That there is a limit to that. That way, you it is still it's not overpowered. Yeah, I can agree. It is important skill, but it's not overpowered. Just enough to do tactics and also. One of my dear sisters. And we still have some room for mistakes. The turncoat oh, is in red. <laughs> Who was going to say? I was yeah, I a bit worried that we were about to shoot her. Yeah, probably best to swap away from that for the moment. I need to find a moment where she is alone. I think she's about to walk behind the house. No, that's quite a bit of... Yeah, heavy... 
Well, if we can pick it up, it's going to be useful sooner or later. Okay. Repair the grave switch. It's probably for some sort of security system. You can talk to her now, at least. Yeah. Don't think I'm on your side, because I'm not. If you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah, you'll answer to me. Understood. What have you got? When her ritual's done, Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone, and Delilah will look out through her eyes the rest of her life. And Delilah will rule as Empress. That's up to you. I've got my money. That's all I need. Wait. What about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. Hey! Well, we, yeah. We could have basically guessed that from the, the first deals. Yeah, actually... Yeah, we probably we could have guessed that from the first DLC with that poem that did sound a lot like possession. But yeah, now it's confirmed. She's she's trying to uh, conquer the empire the sneaky way. You know, I have to say that that okay, I have think, think I seen that nice. trope done before, but this one is a bit different. Yeah. I, I think most of the times when you see that trope, it has already happened. Now we're here to prevent it. And I guess the butler didn't make it after all. Full on that. There we go. Okay, well, we I guess have the, level. Yeah, I guess she the red jacket. Uh, Want us to do it at least the uh, low chaotic way. Yeah, she doesn't care. She doesn't seem to care about what happens to Delilah. Only that, uh, yeah, she uh, <clears throat> she gets interfered with. Yeah, but she said to not harm her sisters. Yeah, everyone but Delilah. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure we can uh, negotiate her down to uh, needles in the nose. Okay, that one. Now, the graveyard is up front again, so it needs. To we need to go all the way around again. Can we get on the roof? Yeah, we should say that. Why not use the roof? It, lo it looks to be very steep over there at the least, so there's a good chance that we might fall off. And well, if we do fall down... Okay, we'd, we would have had to deal with her had she not moved out. So, here goes. Nope. Ow. Okay, I'm guessing there's an invisible wall there. Because we should have hit that. We, well, we, we should have hit the roof, not <laughs> the floor. <laughs> Yeah, she gets another I know, nose surgery. I know, through the mic, but I am clapping my hands for Helium. But that was... Um, yeah, impressively classically... Uh, yeah, a disastrous classic fail. Okay. I grow sick of this assassin. The other sisters speak of him with a tiny shudder of awe in their voice. Yeah, nice. Don't worry, love. The hounds will warn us, or the statues. And then we'll descend on him like a murder of crows, and we'll pick his bones clean. So we kind of checked. Now, now we know what the smaller statues do. Yeah. They are sentries. Okay. Is she just going to keep looking outside? Because we can we could just jump up there. Mm -hmm. 
I, th I think she is going to stay completely still there. Look out the window. Watch her turn around just as I try to choke this one out. Oh, that was me accidentally clicking outside of the game because something popped. No, I do not want to... Close that. I accidentally managed to open my... Uh, <laughs> this, the, uh, the, the soft... The, the editing software that I've used every now and then to, well, edit out or edit my strings when uh, I mess things up, like forgetting to roll the outro. Okay. That was kind of good it paused the game as you did that. Otherwise, yeah. We would have been caught. Yeah. Okay, page from an old book, written in scrolling hands. Dreary water. Oh, this is going to be Granny again, isn't it? Crack three green shells and steal their pearls. Turn the spigot and drink from the misery of a broken house. Gulp and swallow, follow and follow. Three red marbles down the gullet. Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday gift. Granny. Okay, so three, three, uh, three pearls and then drink from... Hmm. Coming from a spigot somewhere here. The art of the enchanting garden. Effective garden design must entice the casual observer by drawing them through the garden gates with the promise of the idyllic. Or with the promise. Hmm. Yet once inside, it must continue to captivate the senses, compelling visitors to linger among the lush greenery and well possession decor. The tranquility of a solitary pool, the perfume of jasmine flowers, the drape of an ancient warty clematis. The heck is a clematis? Across the estates of Dunwall, all these must serve to soothe and beguile those who adventure into the well tended garden of our gentry. Whether one chooses manicured symmetry or the illusion of wild growth, certain fundamentals must always apply. Variation of shape and size to excite the vision, cohesive themes to calm the spirit, and complementary scents and colors. As noted in the High Walled Garden of Lord and Lady Mortigan Plough, place marble sculpture uh, throughout as a means of transporting the visitor to a world of imagination. In keeping with the influ influential vision set forth by the beloved Borgant si sisters, daughters of the late Jonathan and Olivia Sutter, or Sutter, to, uh, to those visiting your manor garden with coordinated sounds, the soft splash of the fountain, the trickling of the stone wall stream, and the rustle of Sarconan sheath oaks from above. Okay, that would be a bit of an odd tree then, if it rustles on its own. Remember, a magical meeting place can be as simple as per winkle uh, draped bower over a crunching gravel pathway or pedestal bench nestled under the bow nose of a crown willow. Okay. Petals and thorns, excerpt from children's book. In the verdant, uh, gar verdant garden kneeling quietly, Rosalind and her basket attended a gathering of crown roses. Rosalind bends, caressing one of the roses, and she brought the shears from behind her back. Where, uh, they were hidden as if they might uh, spook the flowers. It was but a small thing to take the life, uh, a life for a mother. As she brought the shears around, she pulled at the, uh, a stem readying it for the blades, but the flower didn't comply and rewarded her thrust with a thorn buried in her thumb. A single drop of crimson welled up from the wound before Rosalind could bring her thumb to her lips, her hand closed around her wrist. Her mother was standing nearby, witness to all that had inspired. The rose demands its prize, my love. Do not deny the flower its toll. Rosalind winced as her mother forced her hand out over the flower bed and gently squeezed her thumb. Three drops splattered onto the dry soil. As her mother walked away, Rosalind blinked away the tears and gripped tight her shears. She left the garden with her basket brimming, three crimson drafts and one crimson flower, all the remains of the once proud garden. Okay. Not really sure what the moral of that is. And the last one, well, the sixth scripture. Yeah. Strict wanton flesh, truly there is no quicker means by which a life can be upheaved and sifted than by the de uh, depredations of uncontrolled desires. Uh, what avail is the concourse of a prostitute, the attention of a loose companion? Nothing. 
And what are the fruit of such unions? Only sorrow is born, only misery is multiplied within these things the outsider dwells. Wait, what? Now there was one of the scriptures from the overseers. Yeah, I feel like I mi missed something there. I feel I like misunderstood. Basically lost. Do not. All right. I, okay, I'm almost mistress on the phone. For, for a moment, wait. Are they forbidding marriage and love? Uh, I think I misunderstood somewhere or misread. Good chance that they also don't want. There's a good chance that the overseers are also not allowed to marry and such. Hmm. Many religious groups don't, I believe. Did that hound get my scent? Yeah, there, there was a time the priests were allowed to marry, but then they changed it for some reason. Let's see. Rhyme of the so... Rose Water Hag. Let's see, excerpt from the almanac on folk tales and superstitions of Bristol. So far in this almanac we have catalogued many trite and ignorant, if somewhat harmless tales, uh, but we must not turn to that special class of but we, oh, but we must now uh, turn to that special class of folk customs that can be only called wicked and pernicious. The worst of these is perhaps I, okay, I guess, let me see if I can sign. I believe there might be pings coming through there because Discord didn't decide to go onto streamer mode this time. Let's see. Can I turn that on manually somewhere? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Or I can I can also just turn off the notifications. Uh, there. That should silence things. Okay. Where were we? Uh, the worst of these is perhaps the rhyme of the Rosewater Hag. Variants of this accursed poem seem to predate even the founding of Dunwell, though its ultimate origins are lost to us. As to its meaning, some consider it a tale of revenge by a mother against her own daughter. Others see it as a supplication meant to solicit the attention of some ancient spirit from the void. In any case, the ritual surrounding the poem is profusely morbid and in many regions is used as a primitive means of settling the matter between two parties where one has accused the other of falsehood. It is performed as follows. <clears throat> First, whoever is to be tested must find a fountain of standing water and cover the surface with fallen rose petals. Once there are sufficient petals as to completely obscure the water, you must close, to your, eye and close your eyes firmly and place both hands within the fountain so that they are submerged beneath the blankets of, uh, blanket of rose petals. Then you are to recite the following verses. Rosewater hack. Petals, petals on the water. Tell me, tell me, where's your daughter? Has she drowned beneath the mark? Has she vanished in the dark? Petals, petals on the water. Tell me, tell me, where's your daughter? Has she, has she tri stood by the well? Has she secrets left to tell? Petals, petals on the water. Tell me, tell me, where is, am I your daughter? After this, you must lean into the fountain, lowering your head fully into the water and under the rose petals, face first with both eyes uh, still squeezed tight. Count to three, then open your eyes. At that moment, it is said that the rosewater hag will arrive. If you are without fault, you will see nothing, except that you will feel her gentle caress on the back of your neck. But if there is falsehood or wickedness in your heart, you will see the horrible face of the rosewater hag, a creature of indescribable horror. The hag will drown you in the fountain with a cord made of thorny vines. Obviously, while the Abbey takes things very seriously, most authorities classify this tale as superstitious nonsense. However, it must be noted that every year there are at least half a dozen reports from the countryside of young women found dead and blue-faced, with their necks nicked and scratched as if by a color of thorns. Okay. So, yeah, there are witches here. So, who's to say there aren't hags as well. Okay. A moment though, let me get, try and get a bit of height. Just short. Because I don't want to attract the hound that's outside. Or that statue. 
There it is. Okay. There's another and a witch. And a third still. Oh, I see. They... Um... You notice how these strange with the heads? Yeah, those are skulls. Now a bunch of them are over that way. Actually, it might be better if I go across here. And she isn't looking. Because then I can just go back out through the hole through which we first entered. Even though we could just enter through the front door now, but we're an assassin. We have a we have info on an entrance that we've already gone the whole house around for once, so we might as well use that. Yeah. And hopefully, it would skip a bunch of stuff inside. Yeah, especially if it's a low chaos alternative. Um, bloody heck! They have let the garden go. Yeah, this place has been abandoned for who knows how long. It's you now abandoned and used by groups with less than uh, favorable restoration abilities. True, oh, and I said a entire generation. So it, it, it still has its charm. Mm -hmm. If you look at the trees and water. Yeah. Oh. So, I'm surprised how well the fences have survived. Okay. One of the dogs is here. Nice. And get a tripwire, really. I can't tell if that make is the noise it makes normally or an idling or if it smell does, because it's further away now than before. Because we can't see its outline. So I'll just assume that it's that idling. Why is it making that noise? Okay, I think it did catch something of a snap. Could it be that the game is actually keeping track of if we are leaving a sense trail or something? No, it's not heading this way. Hmm. I don't think many games are counting uh, scent as one way to give your position away. I'm impressive they have done that. Now they, I don't think they have done that here because otherwise the dog would have followed our trail here. It is, it is that. If we get too close, they will smell us, but not an out. That's more of a just being too close in any direction. That's a note there. Yeah, probably just uh, someone fixed this freaking thing. We're down on his way. Delilah ha had me disable the grave switch and put it in the garden shed. Okay. Well. Is that you? You were slightly wrong. Okay, come on, ready, badasters. There's more of you, but I have a sword. You call that a sword? I call that a bottom knife. There we go, scattered them enough. And, okay, one of the dogs heard us swinging our sword around, I think. Oh. Okay, so the blink does isn't just an outright teleport at times. Hmm. Okay. There will be... Oh, there's a bone shop under the statue? Ah. And... Okay, we could we could grab that with stop time, and we did fill up on as many uh, uh, potions as we could. 
So... Drink. Did it react even... Okay, so those things can react even if we are bending time. Or at least somewhat. Max health slightly increased. We don't really have room for that, though. Oh, we, we, are not, we are not taking that one off. That is way too powerful. And in we go. You? Someone there? That looks like a man, and I don't... Normally witches don't really count men among their numbers. Before this district was run down. Okay, that was almost... Come on, gang. <laughs> they literally just spawned right in front of us. Come on! Really? It was a trap! It was a trap! I guess that was my own fault for being curious about the skull. Of which these things, well... If we were already told that you'd need to crush them. Okay. Uh, where can I go up? I don't think these things can smell me. Because they would have reacted to me being this close. Yeah, I think they're missing most of their, well... Sneaking abilities. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just going to st bend time and just blink up somewhere. Once this guy is out of the way. Watch it enter into here for some reason. Come on, Scooby. There we go. Oh, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> just going to be blinking all over the place? Or do they actually know that I'm here, here, here already? Good question. Please. No. Don't make me eat anymore. I can't. Brother Marcus. I denounce. I denounce the Abbey. Wandering gaze. Lying tongue. Restless hands. Roving feet. Rev. Rev. The seven strictures are seven lies. The high overseer is the whelp of a wolfhound bitch. The seven strictures are seven lies. Seven lies. Seven lies. Um, Brother Pratcliffe, you are charged with surveillance of the Mutcher Haven. A district and surrounding estates. Travel there immediately and find all, re report all findings to the office of the High Overseer. If any signs of organized heresy are uncovered, send for additional support. Do not attempt to handle the situation alone. Remember the strictures and you will not fail. Overseer Cranton. Huh? I can't rem... We... The... Oh, hmm. The Overseer ally that we had was named Martin, but we never heard his last name. But I don't think that's the last name of the, well, of the overseer that we replaced. So I'm guessing that is Martin's last name. I'm sure. Oh, well, he said he was a over overseer, not a high overseer here. So it might be someone else. Yeah, possible, of course. Uh, let's see. Overseer interrogation. I was unable to extract much from this one. He was well trained. 
brains. Uh, feeding him his former companion elicited, mo uh, elicited mostly useless sounds and mess. I'll try again tomorrow unless he becomes violently deranged, in which case I'll have little choice but to put him down. Oh, uh, great. And uh, I'm guessing that was his companion. What happened to you? I denounce. I denounce the oracles. The oracles. They. They saw. The call of a girl is the key. The girl of the painting. Where's Delilah? I, I, Did I get her? But they definitely know I'm here now. If we find a random witch knocked out somewhere, we know where I got her, even though she blinked out instantly. <laughs> That'd be interesting. And who Boom! <laughs> okay, this one didn't know. But she probably will by the time she wakes up, or whenever that might be. So I okay. If we find another knocked out, oh well, <laughs> there she is. I I did catch her. Mid. <laughs> okay. Yes, she is just only barely visible in this. Okay, that that was a quick draw on my end. I <laughs> I, I thought I saw something, but I thought well, nah, that might not be happening. That might just be some young. Or another comrade, but no, it was her. And I, I hope that kill dust isn't bl blamed on our head. Grab the charm. Let's see, void search. Sometimes when using a power, no mana will be uh, spent. Okay, but what's the... What's the... Da oh no, that's the last normal one that we picked up. The Corrupted One, Power Slash. Benefit, greater damage with your sword, you swing slower. Okay. I keep forgetting that those things are at the bottom. Because I just get so few of them. Let's see. Oh yeah, Delilah is screwing around with some sort of magic painting. This is probably part of, well, her quest to possess Emily. Oh, hence why she was an apprentice of Solo Call, was it she? Is the painting of the void seen? Yes. I put the lantern back in Our Lady's studio. It'll be ready when she calls. Hmm. But I don't think Delilah will return this way. When she calls us, it will be to Dunwall Tower. Probably true. Evie, may I confess something to you? Promise not to tell the others. Of course. You can always confide in me. When I was in the studio, I painted the mark on my hand, just to see. It was foolish, I know, but I couldn't help myself. Never be ashamed of your ambition. It's why she chose you. Thank you. Your words are always exactly what I need, Evie. If only my birth sisters had been more like you. Well, if they had, they'd still be alive, wouldn't they? Yeah, I was about to say they take in the outcast, but they also take in, apparently they take in the outcast that are willing to become murderers. So there's a void painting somewhere, and this ritual involves a painting. I think you can see where that is going with the non-lethal option. Yeah. Sabotage the ritual. Okay, what sort of hellfire lantern is that? Also, really, if you know that someone is coming who can teleport around, just put freaking creep wires everywhere. Just diagonally, horizontally, vertically. Calvin. Let's see. Oh, the last journal. 
Now that the painting is finished, I will sit in young Emily, young lady Emily's skin and wear her face like a ma mummer's mask. The hell is a mummer? Havelock and his lickspittle will put the child on the throne, but it is me they will be crowning. Delilah, the kitchen girl from Dunwall Tower. They called me Sokolov's apprentice, but whose paintings reach uh, through to the spirits? Mine. They will never know their blunder, but I will be sure to whisper it into their ears at the ac their executions. My followers will bear the lantern to uh, the gallery in order to open the way to the void. There I will use the painting to complete the ritual. My walk into Emily's flesh must be undisturbed. The ritual has uh, other uses, which I will explore over time. Any image made by my hand could serve as the focal point for the spell. I imagine one of my enemies as a still life, imprisoned in a bowl of fruit without amusement. Wait, what? So Delilah wants to use Emily to become Empress. Okay, I'm guessing she means that she could use any paint. She, she could basically trap people in the painting. Similar to uh, Mario and uh, Luigi's Mansion. Or Mario 64 and Luigi's Mansion. Ah. The Howl from Beyond, except from a wink work of fiction by Paige E. Stokeworth. As Gregory and the Elia you know, crouched in the dark of the upper hall, they could hear the thing growing closer. It had followed them from the forest, through the garden and into the house. Now as they leaned against the wall, exhausted and terrified, they could hear it coming up the stair. Moving slowly, it scraped along, exposed bone dragging across wood and carpet. A ragged panting foretold its passage as dead air was pushed through his throat, eaten away with rot. Reaching a grim conclusion, Elias swallowed. Her face went slack and she gave Gregory a final glance before plunging through the window glass into the moonlight and the air night. At the sound of her delicate body smashing against the cobblestone below, Gregory let out a keening moan. As he did, his voice was matched by an unearthly howl from the stairwell and a rapid scratching of clawed feet rushing up towards him. Okay. Werewolf! You're probably more like one of these dead wolves. That would probably be the most accurate uh, name for those things, dead wolves. Oh, I see already. Okay, if we hadn't disabled these things, because they are disabled now, they would have shot the oil tanks. And yeah, that would have been a very clear indicator that we were here. Where is that painting then? Let's see, mission clues. Lantern is apparently used to open a gateway through one of Delilah's paintings. There's a studio somewhere in the it contains something of value. Emily Caldwin and the paintings of her are central to Delilah's plan. This lever belongs to set mechanism. Oh, we found that. Okay, so we need to find that paint. We need to find the painting of the void. Uh, the witches said... The witches earlier talked... Okay, I missed one, it seems. Oh, that one. Okay. We need to find that painting of the void. They talked about it somewhere in a studio. That, that looked like... A... Not really a studio, more like a... Practice area or something, or a hideaway. A lair within a lair. Where could that be the thing that up there we were at? Yeah, there's nothing to interact here with. Mm -hmm. take there him. is none of these. And well, if we if we did hang up a painting of Emily again, it would still put put uh, Delilah in Emily's body. Again. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure I don't need to crouch anymore to get around Watch out. silently. And this time I remember to get to be uh, a bit more vertical to get past without setting him off. Where is this studio then? Gallery. 
We have a bone charm, we have a rune, we have a way out. that is really the moment <laughs> how many times has it happened that the moment I act uh, 251 are you satisfied by answer too often probably the is musing <laughs> I worked in my studio until late last night and completed the painting of Emily when Doubt kidnapped her, I was terrified that he might already know what I was planning, but it seems I overestimated him. He turned her over to the conspirators. What a fool. Once young Emily assumes the throne, I'll already be looking out of those lovely brown eyes. Someone is prowling my love. One of my dear Someone sisters who's not has supposed to be away from here. Okay, three of them. And one is already Someone should be alert. Oh, gallery over there, alright. I'm guessing that's my where the painting might be. I think I just heard one of them blink. One, no. What was that sound then? Hmm. Oh, there's an opening there. There we go. That's how we get past without having to deal with all three of them. Still good to keep an eye on Seriously. Is this meant to keep people out or something in? Because if it's meant to keep people out, you want it on the other side of this thing. Are these crown roses? Hmm. Yeah, it could be those. They they look similar to crowns, somewhat. You keep seeing them everywhere. But they are missing thorns. Yeah, it could be that similar to the... Uh, with the didn't... Didn't I disarm those things? Or didn't I didn't empty them because I couldn't, but I I should have. There was a third on the other side. So, hello. Hello. Well, that was almost a fail. Yeah, I missed this thing. I looted the other two and I still fired. Or was that just the explosions? Let's take a look. Yeah, this one was aimed at that one as well, so it, it hit the it hit the oil, it went off and it set off the other one as well. Basically you were tricked by decoys. Yep. Are there any others in here? Before you yawn down? Nope. Okay, so I'll just... Do that. Grab this. Wait for it to refill. And that, that totally makes it look like they're staring right at you if you look behind them. Okay, hello <laughs> ladies. What? Nope. I accidentally... I accidentally ended the freaking spell. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh, hello. Oh, that didn't tell either of them, so I'm counting that as a win. She's just like me with making notes and leaving them all over the place, isn't she? <laughs> 
Brunhild came to me last night while I was in my studio in the West Wing. Okay, so the studio is in the West Wing, finishing their ritual painting of young Lady Emily. She informed me that one of the, our girls allowed herself to get caught and interrogated at Coldridge Prison. Nevertheless, it seems doubt is oblivious to my plans. Okay, that's an old note. Now, what is with this gallery then? Enter the painting. Is this how... I assume... Hmm. Let's not go in just yet. Because I get the feeling we'll need to find that painting first. Yeah. This very much looks like a one-way trip. At least we know where the area should be now, at least. Probably should have expected that the heavily guarded area is the progression area. And in many games, if you see a place that is heavily guarded and obviously where you're supposed to go, turn around and go the other way. Because there will be loot still. And yeah, that draw that drew over all of the guards except for that one over there. We know now that that studio should be on the other side of the manor. Yep. Now that's the painting that we need to go through. I could never live in a house with stuff like this. I'd get picked the hell out. Yeah, I could have been probably fine with one animal head or so, but not in my sleeping room. Or that many. That was a miss. Oh, I think I just gave her a double dose instead. <laughs> and the hounds are alerted. The Lala's orders. I've ordered the lantern be placed in my studio in the... Uh, so it was. So we already found the studio. Use it to enter the painting only if your situation is dire. We'll be busy preparing for the ritual and it cannot be disturbed. I trust you can handle doubt should he materialize. Okay, so that void painting isn't around here? Hmm. I hear a room though. There. Nothing else here. Hmm. Second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. Uh, I, we've already seen that in the main game. Hmm. You can't tell yourself lucky that bathtub haven't fallen through the floor yet. Yeah. Where the hell is that painting? I think we've covered Wait. most of this side of the place. Uh, Hilia, Hilia, turn towards the white arrow. Yeah, that's the entrance to where Delilah's oh. lair. Oh, no matter. I thought it was pointing to the, the painting we were looking for. Unless... There were, there were witches talking earlier about uh, a painting of the void and where it had been moved by... Hmm. They don't keep notes of uh, chats in here. Hmm. So yeah, we'll... Oh yeah, that definitely wouldn't have been a good way to come in. And again, the, uh, the <laughs> way around didn't prove to be that useful either. But immediately a bunch of dogs ran in my face. Well, you did pick up their head. A bottom skull. Yeah, there's still some an area down here. Oh yes, my dear. Oh yes. 
take them. Actually, no. Oh. No. I was about to say there's also an area up here that we haven't found the entrance to, and then I found the entrance. Painting ritual. Painting of the possession target must be positioned above the altar. After preparing the ritual, the performer must lay on the altar. If the ritual has been prepared correctly, the performer will then enter into the body of the subject of the painting. Warning, the subject of the painting must be the possession target. Any other painting may trap the performer of the ritual. Okay. Let's keep looking in here a bit more. There's some area down there that we haven't uh, seen. Break more... Okay. There's an area down there that we haven't seen, but I get the feeling that the painting of the voids might be in the well in the painting as well. But uh not, not sure if we've seen this one before, so I'll read it. The Blight of the Cobblestone. Excerpt from a uh, street pamphlet drafted by anonymous intellectuals. Action is necessary if the Empire is to stand against the juggernaut of what of what is commonly called industrial progress. The momentum of this hungry beast requires equal vigor simply to hold this destructive advance. No action against the industrialization of our nation states can be deemed too extreme when we understand what is at stake. The advancement of industry infects every aspect of our lives, and that's a two hour timer, but we are this close to the end of the game, so we are going we are continuing on. Alright. And hazardous conditions assault the citizens of Dunwall daily. Workers are treated as disposable cogs in the machine, sacrificing their lives in the name of fast construction, mass assembly, and greater profits. Should those of us in opposition to these trends not sacrifice themselves in the fight against our unfeeling oppressor, we'll be satisfied when our children ask what a pasture is, and the best we can do is point to a cobblestone street, black with the filth of mechanical production, will we struggle in the coming years to recall a time where we actually made our pies by hand or baked bread in the ways of our grandmothers? What is at stake today are very cultures, from the cold hearth of Tivia down to Morley and Crystal, all the way uh, to the warm south of Zaconus. All men and women with a love for our ways must stand against these changes. Okay, a, a partial agreement on that. Because... Yeah, yeah, just ra we all know how things went in the Industrial Revolution and the damages that caused to people just killed or dismembered permanently. But once yeah. things were refined and made safer, it has made things better for most people in general. Yep, it was all about... Yeah... Remember, you still need people, and don't treat them like garbage. Feast us with a brace of rabbits tonight. Yes, of course, my love. Almost caught again. Okay, you two are. My slaughterhouse was destroyed in fire. You heard? Gangs, perhaps. Or do you think that could have been doubt? Rather, it was the one who bought that ship, the Delilah. But why burn the slaughterhouse down? Dowd was never so flamboyant. Too much attention. Maybe he's getting reckless, getting old. No much about him. No. They are hinting at we should not have burned down the damn house. house. Yeah, Except we didn't have much of a choice, though. That Billy Lurk. And she was very careful. Okay. Uh, let's pick you up so you don't drown in the water. I forgot about the tripwire. For a moment I thought I fell back down again. Okay, I was hoping that those might have given me more info on the, the painting, but I get the feeling we might be going for killing Delilah instead of trapping her. I'm pretty sure if that painting was around here, I would have been able to see it with the dark gaze, with dark vision. Unless it's in an area we've not been to yet, or it was already in the room we've been to. Yeah, that painting isn't one that we can enter. Will she last, I wonder? I 
wish I knew. Okay, this this just this just leads to here. So yeah, we have covered pretty much every inch of this area. So yeah, I think we can only go into the painting and hope that it's in there somewhere. Oh. Okay, I was about to blink down there. We'll, we'll just have to hope that the painting isn't there as well. So, here we go then. The void. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites, but I will watch this with unusual attention. Okay. And yeah, I guess the only thing we can do is go in there. Are you? Wang! The void. Time to see what you've really got, Delilah. And she's over there. Now we'll have to be stealthy. Placement. She has her statues watching. We need to be careful. Yes, she has mana low. I doubt that we can destroy those statues without alerting her. Good question! The tones of your flesh I with The same moon that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. You cannot ignore me. My power is too deep. My reach too long. Ah, we have to replace it while she looks away. She's, she has to lie down on that. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you in the cold. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. Night noise in the hall. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the dark. The image strikes the eye. 
I just love that Dowd had to taunt her by getting into her line of sight. <laughs> uh. I really missed that part. Now, when it went into the cutscene there, Dowd moved in front. Because this game is, uh, this game runs through first person always, so Dowd actually moved <laughs> into her sight there just to smile and watch. Oh. And also, and, look! Yep, for once anyone. we have Don't Kill Anyone. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, less bloodthirsty? I guess that counts for something. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we missed a lot of stuff still, but we play for story, not for loot. The loot is nice. <laughs> Let's uh, let's what see what ending we get. Hmm? Wait, what? Uh, uh, we we sort of talked over each other there. Uh, yeah. You go first because what I have to say will just lead to the ending. Yeah, that's it. We haven't seen a single ghost. Next, yeah. I'm guessing ghosts aren't really a thing in this world, yet. Uh, yeah, let's just see what ending we got with low chaos. No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter to someone, somewhere, and sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. 
So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you pass through Cold Ridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now. And that was Dishonored, the Breakmore Witches. And with that, Dishonored won in its entirety. Except for one DLC, which is just a bunch of trials. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if we had gone high chaos, Corvo would have slit our throat without a second thought there. But, and I have to say, that, that mask is freaky when you are on the other end of it. Yeah, but it looks a bit crude. It does, but it that does help. That adds to uh, yeah the freakiness factor of it. And That's true. Overall, I'd I'd say that I like these DLCs, but they they feel small. Especially, if, well, maybe I'm just being picky with it. You can get quite a bit out of this by going uh, high in chaos, medium chaos, and low chaos. And even with that, on certain things, you could kill or spare people. So maybe I am just picky with uh, the pricing, but for to me, the full yeah, it is just ten bucks, but still it it feels short for that amount. But then again, you yeah. could run through this multiple times, and so get even more time out of this. And now I'll stop interrupting you. Uh, it, uh, yes, I agree with you. And I was to say, it feels like these two DSCs were probably supposed to be one, but it's split it in half. Yeah. Well, if not sure both, why. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. It, it feels like if they had combined them into one DLC, it would make sense for the price, perhaps. Yeah. Hmm. But at the very least, they are bundled together in the uh, ultimate game of the year, or full edition whatever it is with this uh, game specifically because i was pl i was playing the original version here with these many of these games you have the re not really remastered but a touched up version that gets released sometime after with all the dlc included and such well uh, yeah this was just the original dishonored all of its uh, possible flaws and such included <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, still, good DLCs, uh, whether they are really worth the price once more, that, that is more up for people themselves to decide. I got them both when they were at half price at five bucks, so for that, it, I would say that they are worth it, but that, I, did I get them at half price or... N I'm not sure now anymore, it doesn't matter, because I already bought them. But, yeah, for five bucks, if they are on sale, definitely get them. Then again, people have been watching this. Actually, no. I have had it where I've seen people uh, go through it, where I have watched a playthrough of a game, and then play through it myself anyways after. Yeah, not in this game, it never was the case. I had already played the game by the time that I had seen Rid by the by the time that I saw Ridian play through it. I think. That is going to be a catchphrase of mine, isn't it? I think. <laughs> uh, anyways, we've seen... Both our catchphrase. 
What the? Okay. I hadn't expected that bit. But yeah, with that, let's get back to the main menu. That was kind of nice. Uh, yeah. And I am look. I'm really looking forward to getting to Dishonored 2. But first, because we are alternating two series here, next time we'll be starting with Darksiders 2 instead. I have no clue how long it might take to get through that game. I think it is longer than the Darksiders 1, but I'm not sure on that. It could have just been because I sucked at the game, because I'm pretty sure I played through it originally on hard. And of course got my ass handed to me plenty of times because of that. <laughs> Yeah, perhaps take it to a lower difficulty. And I see now we only owe 20 minutes overtime. Yeah, so still very reasonable. And yeah. In all, this is just a great game. Uh, the world is interesting, the characters are nice. Uh, the graphics are a bit muddy with compared to these things, but I, I think it fits. Now, gra you don't need everything to be, f what is the word, photo accurate or something, because that's just going to take a lot of your computer to run. And typically in that case, it's going to suffer on the gameplay side. Yeah, so I could say when you make your character a bit more anime or cartoonish like, like, what do you call Cell it? Shaded. Cartoonish? What? Cell shaded. Yeah, I was just saying it in sort of cartoonish in a slight sense. Yeah, like I Borderlands or so? Like, yeah, I'm not sure if Dishonor would be classified. You know, maybe I don't understand the whole term of shell saving completely, perhaps? Maybe mm -hmm. I just see shell saving as a form of cartoonish. Now, if it... If you were to describe Dishonored's graphics in a certain style like that, it would be closer to a, a bit of oil painting like, I'd say. Yeah, and that's kind of good for... Again, if you try to make a game hyper-realistic, that's going to just be big on, graph on gigabytes and just a pain to run. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, okay. so... As well, it seems to be easier to make good expressions when you don't make hyper realistic. Yeah, it makes it people, it makes character also easier to remember. Because at a certain point, when all characters are looking like you know, just hyper realistic, you're going to get to a point like, who the hell is that? You're, you're going to start looking at th the same. Yeah, or they'll be remembered for. You remember the guy with that strange. Weird face. Because I already heard, heard that there's been a few things with the new House of Ashes. Like that's okay. one thing my character that everyone disliked because they seem to. If I dislike her, it seems like they made very poor work on her face animation. Okay, I have heard good things about that game. Uh, I have no real interest in playing it though, because it, it's not really sure it's my type of game. Plus, I've had all the I've, <laughs> I've seen the story already, so I've no yeah. real need to play it myself. Yeah, the story is fine. I think the only critiques as so far has been just well, that one female character's face. Okay, let, let's hope that the company can uh, continue that trend because their last two games people disliked a lot. Yeah, as I understand what they were trying to go, that every is not as they seem, but they went with the most boring that, oh, it was just hallucination or yeah. something like that. No, people were a bit more for, no, it was something actually scary. Yeah. And even, but... Yeah, I also hope they, as you say, they continue that way. Yeah, the graphics are still very good when they don't screw something up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, enough on that, I'd say. Uh, let's see. Next time on Thursday, uh, we're moving back to Darksiders. And Yay. the rest of the schedule will continue as normal. So, yeah, anyone else be watching now or later, thank you for watching. And thank you especially, Drakir. 
Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, until next time, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for hamsters.